Our reading comes from 2 Corinthians. Somo letu tatoka kwa Korintho wa pili. Chapter 10 and verse 3. Kumi, um, sari wa tatu. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3. Wa Korintho wa pili, kumi, msari wa tatu. The Bible says. Bili nasema. For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. Amen. Amen. Verse 4. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of this world. On the contrary, we demolish arguments. Tunaziangusha and every pretension na kila wazo that set itself against the knowledge of God and we take captive na pia tunateka nyara every thought kila fikra to make it obedient to Christ ili pate kumti Christo amen amen so if there is a thought kama kuna wazo hallelujah amen a negative thought wazo ambao ni mbaya if there is something kama kuna jambo that has been hindering your move ambayo kimekuwa kizuia kwa yako either you are here au uko hapa or you are there ama uko pale be prepared jiandae for the almighty god maana mungu mkuu is ready ako tayari to set you free kukuweka huru in Jesus name katika jina la Yesu amen amen may the lord bless his word mungu abariki neno lake amen you may sit down mnaweza kuketi amen paul paulo is speaking to the corinthians church anaenea kanisa ya wakorindo and he's telling the corinthians church na anawaambia kanisa ya wakorindo and the church of today na kanisa ya leo that we are engaged in a spiritual warfare kuwa tuko katika vita ya kiroho hallelujah amen and the weapons that we fight with na silaha ambazo tunapigana nazo they are not natural weapons sio silaha za kawaida ama za mwili we have flesh and blood tuko na damu na mwili but when we come to the the spiritual warfare. This is a spiritual warfare. The weapons that God has given us. They have divine power. Or supernatural power. Hallelujah. The weapon that God has given you. That is why the Bible says. No weapon set against you. No weapon set against us. We'll be able to prosper. Why? God has given us supernatural weapons. That break and destroy every work of the enemy and all the strongholds. But the question is what is a stronghold? Amen. Amen. In this context of 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 to 4 the Greek word for stronghold is okuroma. Amen. Amen. It means prison. Inamanisha jela. Okuroma. Okuroma. O C H Y R O M A. A stronghold ngome is anything ni chochote that takes hold on you. Ambaye nakushika mateka. Are we together? Pamoja. A stronghold ngome is anything ni chochote that takes stronghold of you. Ambaye nakushika and put you in its fortified prison. Na inakuweka katika njela yake ambayo ni kuu. And when you are in a prison, you have no freedom. You do what the people in the prison do. Hallelujah. Amen. Some are put in a prison of mind, mind we, a mindset. They believe they are not able to do something. But from today, by the grace of God, the Lord will deliver you. Strongholds can also be natural desires. Or thinking patterns that Satan control used to control you. Amen. Amen. So we are going to see six strongholds that negatively affect the people of God. 
ambazo zinaadhiri kinyume watu wa Mungu. Amen. Amen. Six strongholds. Ngome sita that negatively affect the people of God. Ambazo zinaadhiri watu wa Mungu kibibaya. The first stronghold ngome ya kwanza is the stronghold of sin. Ni ngome ya dhambi. Hallelujah. Amen. Is perpetual sin. Dhambi ya kujirudia rudia. A cycle of sin. Dhambi ambayo inajirudia rudia. That keep on coming. Ambayo inaendelea kikuja. You want to do good. But you find yourself in the same place. And this is what happened to the children of Israel. In the book of Judges chapter 6. Let us go to Judges chapter 6. The Bible says. They failed to confess their sins. Wakakosa kukiri dhambi zao. And this led them to a stronghold. Na hii kawapeleka katika ngome. Verse 1 says. Mstari wa kwanza inasema. The Israelites did evil in the eyes of the Lord. Kisha wana isalo kafanya maovu mbele ya macho ya wana. And for seven years. Na kwa miaka saba. He gave them into the hands of Midianites. Ali wapadea katika mikono ya wa Midiani. In other words. Kwa meno mengine. Israelites were living in a cycle of sin. Wa Israeli walikuwa katika dhambi ya kujirudia rudia. From the time of the. From the time when Joshua died. Kutoka wakati Yoshua alikufa. And the judges took over. So they started living in a cycle of sin. And this is one of them. And what happens when you sin and fail to repent, God leaves you and he sees you being tempted tormented by the enemy until you go back to him. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says in verse 2 because the power of Midian was so oppressive the Israelites prepared shelter for themselves in the mountain clefts in clefts in, oh, sorry, in caves and strongholds. Na hizo ngome. Tunasikia warika katika strongholds of caves. Hallelujah. Amen. Whenever Israelites planted their crops. Basi kawa Israel walipo panda mbegu zao. The Midianites. Wa Midiani. Amalekites. Wa Meleki. And other Eastern people. Na hao wengine wa mashariki. Invaded the country. Walieza kukwea na kovamia. They camped on the land. Wakakaa katika inchama. And ruined the crops. Na wakaribu mazao. All the way to Gaza. Mpaka Gaza. And did not spare a living thing for Israel. Na wakuwacha chuchote kwa Israel. Neither their sheep or cattle or donkeys. Wala kondo o ngombe wala punda. The Israelites did evil. Wa Israel walifanya maovu. In the sight of God. Katika machu ya buwana. For seven good years. Kwa miaka saba. And the Bible says. Na minu nasema. Instead of repentance. Repenting and coming back to God and overcoming their predicament. They lived in stronghold of fear. They lived in stronghold of frustration. They lived in a stronghold of oppression. Why? Because they lived in a cycle of sin. Kwa sababu walishi katike dhambi ya kurudia rudia. Hallelujah. Amen. This is to tell us. Hini kutuambia. Sin. Dhambi. If we constantly, if we continue living constantly in sin. Tukenlea kukaa katika dhambi. We live under a stronghold. Tunaishi katika ngome. And oppression of the enemy will prevail. Na kuteswa kwa adui kutaendelea. And there are cycles of anything that can take place. Na kwa kujua kwa mamenge na zafanyika. You know. There are people living in sin. There is sexual immorality. You find someone is still there repeatedly. It is my prayer that if you are there, may the Lord deliver you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. There are other people who are living in fornication. There are other people who are living in a stronghold of fear. May the Lord deliver you. May the Lord set you free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have any cycle of sin, 
Biblia. Like the way the children of Israel did. Kama vile wa Israel walifanya. I may not have you may probably have not mentioned it. But you know it yourself. From today, in the name of Jesus, repent and come back to God. And you will be set free. Hallelujah. Amen. For the Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 and verse 9, if we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to cleanse us from all unrighteousness to purify us from all unrighteousness. May the Lord purify you today. May the Lord set you free today. May the Lord set you free today. May it be a mental sin. May, may it be an emotional sin. Or whatever the kind of sin it is. May the blood of Jesus come and cleanse the church. Come and cleanse the family. In the name of Jesus. Because when we are cleansed, we will see the glory of God. In Jesus' name. Admit that you are a sinner. Confess your sins and come to God. Don't allow sin to take you a host, to take you hostage. Don't live under the, you know, uh, 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 you know, don't don't live in the stronghold of the enemy. In the prison of the enemy. We say no from today. The second stronghold are negative thoughts patterns. Negative thoughts pattern. Negative thoughts pattern. You know what can happen? It is very easy for Satan to establish negative thought patterns in your mind that opposes God's truth. And it is very easy for that to become a stronghold. And I want to show you an example. In the same, same place that we have read about the negative thought patterns. This is Gideon. They have lived in sin. And as you continue to, pray, to read, they came and repented. And when they repented, God sent an angel. And he went to Gideon. When they were threshing wheat, living in caves, living in strongholds, there are some people here who are living in strongholds. They are living in fear. They are living in some challenges. But the voice of God has come that you may hear the voice of God today in the name of Jesus. The angel came to, to the, uh, the angel came to Gideon. The angel came to Gideon. And verse 12 says, when the angel of God appeared to Gideon, he said, the Lord is with you mighty warrior. Hallelujah. Amen. Mighty warrior. In a cave. But a mighty warrior. Hallelujah. Amen. Oppressed. But a mighty warrior. I am here to tell you. Some of you are going through challenges. Some of you are in tears. But the Lord is telling you. You are a mighty warrior. 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 The situation looks bad. But in God's perspective. You are a warrior. You are a warrior. Hallelujah. Amen. But instead of Gideon believing the message from God, he continued doubting God. Hallelujah. Amen. Judges 6.13 says, when you say pardon, what does it mean? Repeat it again. Ah, siku sikia vizuri. 
Then he says, pardon me, Lord. Gideon replied, but if the Lord is with us, and that is why some of you are asking, if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all his wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, did not the Lord bring us out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hands of Midianites. This is Gideon complaining. You are saying we are a mighty warrior. But according to my perspective, you have abandoned, you have abandoned us. Some of you, that is what you are saying. It seems as if God has forgotten me. But I want to tell you, God has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten you. God has not forgotten you, Faith. God has not forgotten you, Mary. God has not forgotten you, George. God has not forgotten you, youth. God has not forgotten you. Brothers and sisters, even if you are going through challenges, he is still on the throne. And he, has, he is making a way where there is no way. Verse 14, the Lord turned to him and said, go in the strength you have and have uh, and save Israel out of the Midianite hands. Am I not sending you negative mind? Negative, negative thoughts. You are not with us, Lord. Now he goes further to say after he, God has told him I am going with you. I go with the strength that I have given you. Verse 15, he says, Pardon me, my Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Gideon replied, But how can I save Israel? My clan is the weakest in Manasseh. And I am the least in my family. He is looking at the generation that has passed. And he is saying, according to our family lineage, we are the least. We cannot make it. Hallelujah. Amen. When God says, go in the, with the strength that you have, you must wake up and go. Because God is not a human being. When he says he will strengthen you. When he says he will give you power. When he says that he will deliver you. He will deliver you today. Any negative mind. Any negative pattern. Must be destroyed in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord answered. I will be with you and you will strike down all the Midianites leaving none of them. And this word was fulfilled when he followed God. He defeated the Midianites and they were completely wiped out. I am here to tell you if he did it to Gideon, he is going to do it to you. He is going to do to your family. He is going to do to your heart. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. You know, when Gideon was speaking, this was a negative self-talk. But I want to tell us, see yourself in God's perspective. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the called. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. You may not be qualified. You may not 
have qualification for that job. You may not be qualified for that business. But as from today, may the Lord qualify you in the name of Jesus. Some of us are sitting in this church. But I want to tell you, you are a mighty warrior. Stand up from where you are and start serving God. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you are great worshippers and God has called you and you are still warming those seats. If you don't do it, Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You don't know what the Lord can do. Wake up and to worship God. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. Some of you are great leaders but you are just there. The Lord is telling you you may look not qualified but God is going to qualify you. God is going to qualify you. God is going to qualify you in the name of Jesus. Some of you can participate very well in the youth programs but our time has come come, you must wake up and do the perfect will of God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. You know, these people, they accepted. You know, Gideon accepted the stronghold. You know, there are some people who accept the situation of the enemy and they believe that something is unchangeable. My wife, the way she is, that is a confession that comes from your mouth. I want to tell you when God says that your wife can be changed, God is well able to change your wife. Some say, my husband cannot be changed. The way he is, he is unchangeable. But I want to tell us, your husband can be changed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. There are some who have believed that they are bewitched. You know, there are people who believe they are bewitched. Ati mtu walirogwa na ule alimroga akakufa. Sasa ajui atafanya nini. Are we together? Pamoja. That is a negative talk. Iyo ni maongezi a negative self talk. Maongezi ya Kama ulirogwa. Mm. The Bible says. We have power. Hallelujah. Amen. To bring down. To destroy. Every work of the devil. In Jesus name. Don't believe witchcraft. More than the power of God. Don't believe witch doctor. The power of darkness. You know there are some people. Who have. Ata wengine siyo warogi. Ni akiri yao imewaambia wameshindwa. Hiyo akiri yao lazima ibadilike siku ya leo. Hallelujah. Believing the lie of the devil. Kuamini uongo wa shetani. Forget about a church. Sahau hiyo kanisa. In Jesus name. There are some of you who have releases. Kuna wengine wako na vizuri. They are here. Wamefunga hapa. You are hiding them. Kuna ficha hapa. Some of you. Wengine wenu. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if they are here or they are there. But the Lord can see them. The Lord is saying, if you believe in that power, the power of darkness, it will destroy you. But believe in the power that is above every power, the power of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Amen. is going to set you free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not a failure. You are a success. I mean you are not a failure. You are a success. Your family will not fail. Your children will not fail. Your business will not fail. Your life will not fail. Jesus says, You are my child. You are my child. I know you before the creation of the world. And I set your name and your destiny in my book. And I know you are a success. Hallelujah. 
I mean we are a success. Don't believe the ally of the enemy. That mindset. Take it away. Have the mind of Christ. Have the mind of Christ. That he who is in you. He who is in me. Is greater. Than the devil himself. Than the situation itself. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray the Lord of Lords. You know your thought patterns can break your limits. Are we together? Your thought pattern can make or break your limit. For the Bible says in Proverbs 23, 7 As he thinketh in his heart so is he. If you think and believe that you are a failure, you become a failure. If you believe you cannot succeed, you remain, you know, if you believe that you are bewitched, that mindset will remain in you. And you will never try anything. But I want to tell us, church, as as he thinketh as in his mind as he. Let the mind of Christ reign in our lives. Take every captive. Of the enemy. You know that that mindset. That says that you are a failure. Bring it under the subjection of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. The third stronghold. That Satan uses. And listen good. Listen good. It may not seem like a stronghold. But it can be a stronghold. In a person. Or in a church. I have seen it. The third one. Selective hearing. Selective hearing. This is hearing what you want to hear. God may have a different message. But you selectively or you select what you want to hear. You sit there. And as I preach. Hallelujah. You pick what you want to pick. Not because you are doing like Bereans. But because you want to, have, you know, to hear the message that suits you. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if it is here. I don't, I don't know if it is here. Have I ever preached a message? And as I preach the message, you conclude and say, Bishop Razima Riambio Namutu Hiyo Kitu. Are we together? Have someone ever asked you? Maybe. Hi, now Bishop. Have you ever preached something and you feel as if I'm the one who is preaching? Have you ever felt like that? Have you ever felt like that? I don't come here to preach what I have been told. I come to preach what I hear from God. And if you selectively assume what I have preached, I have heard from somewhere what you are doing, you are limiting your blessings. Hallelujah. Amen. Why? Because when the Lord speaks to me, He will always give me a message that I may tell you. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. So don't limit your miracle. Don't limit your blessings. In Jesus' name. Second Timothy. These are the days that where we are. Second Timothy chapter 4.3. Timothy The Bible says. Second Timothy chapter 4 and verse 3. For the time will come. And the time has come. 
Na wakati umefika. When people will not put up their uh, will not put up with the sound of doctrine. Ambao watu watakataa mafunzo ya kweli. Instead, hila to suit their desires. Kwa kufuata nia zao, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say to their itching ears what they want to hear. Wanajipatia walimu makundi makundi kwa kuwa wana masikio ya kutosikia macho na kusikia. Amen. Amen. The Bible says the time will come. Bila sema wakati itakuja. When men will not put up with the correct doctrine. Wakati watu watakubumilia mafunzo ya kweli. Hallelujah. Amen. Instead, ila to suit their own desires. Ili kufresha nia zao. They will gather around them. Watakusanya katika a number of teachers. Makundi ya walimu. To say what their ears want to hear. Kusema kile masikio yao yanataka kusikia. Pamoja. You go to church. Unaenda kanisa. You want to hear what you want to hear. Unataka kusikia kile unataka kusikia. It can become a, 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 a stronghold. Inaweza kuwa ngome. Are we together? Pamoja. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. But when you come to church, lakini ukija kanisa, open your heart. Fungua moyo wako. And say Jehovah. Na usema Jehovah. Speak to my life. Nenea maisha yangu. I receive that word. Napokea hilo neno. I receive that word. Napokea hilo neno. Hallelujah. Amen. There are people who even switch off. Kuna watu pia wanazima. When the message is being preached. Ujumbe unapobiliwa. But I want to tell you. Atakuambia. There are people who want. Kuna watu wataka to hear good messages. Kusikia maujumbe mazuri. Encouraging messages. Ujumbe za kutia moyo. But when it comes to corrections. Lakini ikifika kuwekorekebisho. Wanafunga wanafunga sikio. Mm. Hallelujah. May the Lord help you. Mungu atusaidie. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. We are living at a time. Tunaishi katika nyakati. When people are running watu natimbia to churches kwa makanisa where they will hear kwa mbao wanasikia or they will you know where false miracles are being done ambao miujiza ya uongo inafanyika and they want to stay there hata ukawa pale why kwa nini because they want to stay in in, 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 in stronghold kwa sababu wanataka kukaa katika ngome come out of it toka kwa hiyo ngome tell jehova ambia jehova when i go to sunday napoenda jumapili in the sunday service katika any service ama ibada yote help me to hear your word nisaidie nisikie neno lako if it is healing kama ni uponyaji say i receive it sema nimepokea in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu in the name of jesus katika jina la yesu praise the name of the living god amen I'm straining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. the name of the living God. Amen. Another stronghold. Ngome ingine is a stronghold of despair. Ni ngome ya kufadhaika. Despair. Kufadhaika. Hallelujah. Amen. Despair. Kufadhaika. Despair. Kufadhaika is losing hope. Ni kukata tamaa and believing life is not worth living or worth the living na kuamini maisha haifai despair is losing hope kufadhaika ni kukata tamaa when one gets stuck in life mtu akigoma maishani someone may feel as if the lord has abandoned him or her mungu mtu anaweza ishi kama mungu amemwacha and you live you know you live in despair na unaishi katika mfadhaiko you remember elijah unakumbuka elia after he was threatened by the by 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 the enemy baada ya kutishiwa na adui the bible says bila sema he went alienda and sat down na akaketi and a tree chini ya mti and he told god na akaambia mungu i want to die nataka kufa i'm giving up i want to tell us my brother nataka kuambia ndugu yangu don't give up usikate tamaa don't give up usikate tamaa it can be a stronghold inaweza kuwa ngome hallelujah amen the bible says bila sema in psalms 40 katika zaburi 40 that david one was in such a place kwa daudi alikuwa mahali kama pale and chapter 40 verse 1 he says na 40 inasema i waited i waited patiently nilimgoja kwa kuvumilia mimi for the lord to help me mungu anisaidie wait patiently usubiri kwa wait patiently church ngoja kanisa wa kusubiri it may be one year labda inaweza kuwa mwaka mmoja it may be two years inaweza kuwa miaka miwili but god will come lakini mungu atakuja when David waited patiently. Ah, uh, Daudi alipongoja kwa subira. The Bible says. Bila sema. Hallelujah. Amen. God turned to me. 
Mungu akanigeukia and heard my cry Nakasikia kilio chao Some of you are in tears Wengine mko katika machozi Because of challenges Kwa sababu ya changamoto Life is so difficult Maisha yamekuwa ngumu You are prayed for a while Umeomba kwa muda And the answer is not coming Najibu haikuji My brother and my sister Ndugu yangu na dada yangu Don't despair Usikuwe mfadhaiko Don't despair Usifadhaike In the name of Jesus Kwa jina la Yesu Hallelujah Amen Don't despair Usifadhaike Wait upon the Lord. Mngoje bwana. When the Lord will tilt his hand. Upon your life. Kia maisha yako. Upon your family. Kia familia yako. Upon your business. Kia biashara yako. Upon your prayer. Kia maombi yako. You will kneel down. Utapiga magoti. And say this is the Lord. Na useme huni bwana. Amen. Amen. The Bible says. Bila sema. Amen. Amen. Verse 2 David says. Sura pili ndio akasema. He lived and he lifted me out. Akanipanisha kutoka the pit of despair. Shimo la waribifu. Hallelujah. Amen. He lifted me out of this despair. Akaniondoa katika kufadhaika. Out of mud and mire. Kutoka udongo utelezi. And set my feet on a solid ground. Na akanimanisha katika miguu yangu mwambani. And started a uh, uh, He gave me a new song. Na akanipa wimbo mpya. And those who trust him na walio muamini. Hallelujah. Amen. He put a new song. Akaniweka wimbo mpya. Wait upon the Lord. Ngoja Bwana. And when you wait upon the Lord. Nabo mngoja Bwana. He will tilt his hair. Atageusa mkono wake. And he will answer you. Na atakujibu. He will remove you from what you are going through. Anakutoa mahali unapitia. Don't allow despair to be a stronghold. Usikubali mfadhaiko ikae kwa ngome. A stronghold that will make you to give up. Ngome ambayo itakufanya ukate tamaa. A stronghold that will make you to lose your salvation. Ngome ambayo itafanya ukose wokovu wako. A stronghold that will make you to lose, you know, to give up in life. Ngome ambayo itakufanya ukate tamaa maishani. He is Jehovah. Yeye ni Jehovah. Some of you are stuck. Wengine mmekwama. Like David. Kama Daudi. Hallelujah. Amen. Kukwama kwa matope. Mm. Hallelujah. Amen. Unajaribu kwenda lakini huwezi kwenda. Unajaribu kuinua mguu lakini huwezi kuinua. I am here to tell you. Hallelujah. Amen. Unajaribu kuinua fedha hakuna. Unajaribu kuamini Mungu kwenda hatu wengine hakuna. Hallelujah. Amen. Unaona challenges zinatoka kule, zingine zinatoka huko. Huko ni kukwama kwa matope. Lakini Mungu atakuinua, atakapokuinua, atakuwekelea kwa jiwe. Na hilo jiwe ni Yesu Kristo. Na mahali pale pako sabamba. Hallelujah. Amen. And you'll give you a new testimony. In the name of Jesus. May you receive a new testimony. 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 Why? It has been not good. It has not been easy. But your time has come. If that has been a stronghold, it will be destroyed today. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. So don't give up. Keep on waiting. The last one and I'm not going to dwell with this one so much because one of these days I'll be preaching on this subject. Hallelujah. Amen. The last one is generational family strongholds. Ya mwisho ni ngome za kifamilia. Generational family strongholds. Ngome ambazo ni za kifamilia. Hallelujah. Amen. The word gene has a meaning. And the other one rational has a something has a meaning. But I will come to that one when I when I'll be teaching this. The, the first one the gene is about the genes that you have that come from the genes and genes of your family. Hallelujah. Amen. So uh generation of family strongholds is picking negative life patterns. Picking negative life patterns from your family. Kuchukua mambo mabaya kifuatana mambo ya familia. It can be a spirit of lie. Inaweza kuwa roho ya uongo. You wongo. just find yourself lying. Unajipata ukidanganya. Are we together? Pamoja. It could be probably um divorce. Inaweza kuwa labda kutengana. You realize? Unagudua? A certain family, familia fulani has a spirit of divorce. Iko na roho ya kutengana. That follow them. Ama inawafuata. It affect them. 
inawaadhiri from their great grandfather kuanzia uh, baba zao to their children mpaka watoto wao and you realize na unagudua any time kila wakati that you are in that string ukatika hiyo mahali some of the family members familia wengine are affected wanaadhirika and i'm here to tell you ni kwamba kuambia today in the name of jesus leo katika jina la yesu those strongholds hizo ngome will be broken in jesus name zitavunjwa katika jina la yesu some of the family strongholds are addictions ngome zingine za familia ni kuadhirika unaona kila watu ni walevi You want you know you get born again Unaokoka. but you find yourself going back again May the Lord deliver you Some of the things are limitations and poverty or even pride ama kiburi they will be delivered today reject and break in a negative stronghold that has affected you and your children as i close how do you break the cycle of strongholds how do i break how do you break a cycle of stronghold number one which is very key identify the strong hold you or your family is struggling with tambua ile ngome wewe ama familia mnangana nayo identify the stronghold tambua hiyo ngome you wewe or your family ama familia yako is struggling with ambayo inangana nayo hallelujah amen when you look at luke 15 ukiangalia luka 15 and verse 16 mstari 16 there was the prodigal son kulikuwa na mwana mpotevu the bible tells me bila niambia he asked for everything aliuliza vyote and went and spent everything na akaenda akamaliza vyote and he became poor na akakuwa maskini he struggled akangangana he struggled akangangana even eating became a problem hata kula ikakuwa shida hallelujah But the Bible says Minasema, one day siku moja, he came to himself akajirudia kimawazo verse, six, verse 16 the Bible says Minasema, when he came to him to his senses alipojirudia katika mawazo yake he identified it was a stronghold akagudua ilikuwa ngome and went back to his father na akarudi kwa baba yake may you identify your stronghold tambua ngome yako and you will be set free in Jesus na name huru katika jina la Yesu jabezi Yabezi. Identify the stronghold of our pain. Alitambua ngome ya machungu. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible says. Nasema, it was a stronghold of pain. Ilikuwa uh, ngome ya machungu. And he prayed. Na nasema, oh God bless me. E eh, Mungu nibariki. Enlarge my territory. Panua mipaka yangu. Keep me from evil. Niweke katika maovu. And set me from pain. Na uniweke mbali na machungu. He identified all those things. Alitambua hayo yote. In the name of Jesus. Na Yesu. I decree in the name of Jesus. Natangaza katika jina la Yesu. From to Today, kuanzia leo from this hour kuanzia lisa, your territories will be enlarged your territories will be enlarged in the name of Jesus God will keep you from evil Mungu atakuweka mbali na maovu hallelujah amen and as from today kuanzia leo you will be set from you will be set free utaekwa huru from any pain kutoka machungu yote may it be emotional labda ni mawazo may it be spiritual labda ni ya kiroho may it be physical May you come out of those strongholds in the name of Jesus. May you be kept away from evil. The second one. Ya pili. Repent and turn back to God. Tubu namrudia Mungu. Come to return and uh, re repent and come back to God. Tubu namrudia Mungu. Come to Jesus. Kuja kwa Yesu. Just the way you are. Vile ulivyo. You are not born again. Haujaokoka. Or probably you are born again. Ama labda umeokoka. But you are living in sin. Lakini unaishi kwa dhambi. God want you the way you are. Mungu anataka jinsi ulivyo. And finally. Na ya mwisho. Break and demolish any stronghold in your life. Vunja na waangushe kila ngome maisha yako. We wako. have divine power. Tuko na nguvu ya kiungu. To demolish strongholds. Na kuangusha ngome. We demolish arguments. Kuangusha mawazo. We demolish every thought. Tunaangusha kila wazo. And we take every captives and make it obedient to Christ na kulifanya litii Kristo so you have been given supernatural power umepewa nguvu ya kimu kiu so as i close napo malizia is there unconfessed sin in your life je kuna dhambi ambayo hujatupa maishani mwako do you probably have negative life patterns je labda uko na mawazo mawazo ambayo ya that you are struggling with ambayo unangana nayo do you have probably selective hearing 
Je, labda uko na ile kusikia kwa kuchagua? Or you, are you suffering or your family suffering from a generational family stronghold? Ama labda familia yako ama wewe unasangana kutoka kwa ngome ya familia. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. The son of the living God said. Mwana wa Mungu aishia anasema. You shall speak to that mountain. Utanenea huyo mlima. You shall speak to that mountain. Utanenea huyo mlima. And you shall tell that mountain. Na utaambia huyo mlima. Get out of that place. Toka mahali hapo. And it shall be moved. Na itaondolewa. Taken to the ocean. And when it goes to the ocean It goes to the deepest And you will never see it again I decree in Jesus name Any problem Any stronghold Either personal Or your family You will be set free May you stand up In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus We have power and authority To break every stronghold Jesus said, yes, ask anything in my name and I will do it in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Let's be, let's be in the mood of prayer. Can we please be in the mood of prayer? In the name of worship team, you should be here in Jesus' name. Let us be in the mood of prayer. Let us be in the mood of prayer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh my God. There are some people here. Kuna watu hapa. And listen good. Sikiza vizuri. And this is the spirit of God is saying. Na huni roho wa Mungu anasema. Literally I can see a string. Kwa hakika naona a trail of string ile mvuatano wa mambo coming to from from far. Ikitoka mbali. Affecting some of your family members. Ikiadhiri familia yenu. And some of you are affected. Na wengine pia umeadhirika hapa. And some of you have been shedding tears. Na wengine wamekuwa kutoa machozi. And you have been asking why. Na wamekuwa kuuliza kwa nini? Some some of you you know even talking about it have become you know you don't know what to do. Hata kuongelea au juu cha kufanya. But it is not your sin. Sio dhambi yako. It is not your problem. Sio shida yako. But this is a stronghold. Ni ngome. That has affected families. Ambayo imeadhiri familia. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. I want to pray for those families. Nataka kuombea hizo familia. Right now. I feel you should not suffer. Your children should not suffer. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. You remember Isaac. He prayed for his son Jacob. And in the process, he went to Laban. But at night, instead of being given the right wife, he was given another wife, another person. There was an exchange. Until he waited for another seven years. For another years. Until he got the right one. Some of you have been staying. Waiting. Mkingoja. There has been some exchange in your life on the life of your children or the family. We want to break those strongholds right now. You are here my brother and you are here my sister. You say in my life I have experienced a certain stronghold or probably my child or a family member and I want it broken today before even we go to other strongholds. I feel this family stronghold so heavy in my heart that it must be broken today in Jesus name. Do you have someone? Can you raise up your hand? I'll pray for you in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Just come here the way you are. Just come here the way you are. In the name of Jesus. Some of you may selectively decide to hear what you want to hear. But by the Spirit of God, hear what the Lord is saying. Today is your day. The Lord is setting you free. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Just raise up your hand. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This has been so heavy to me. Even when I was praying and fasting for several days and I was just alone. 
I was just alone. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus Christ, we thank you. Just be in mood of prayer. Just be in the mood of prayer. Just be in the mood of prayer. Oh, yes, Jesus. That mountain is being removed today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This mountain. In the name of Jesus. This mountain shall be removed. Shall be removed. My spirit says this mountain, this mountain shall be removed. This mountain shall be removed. This mountain, this mountain shall be In the name of Jesus, the powers of darkness, the powers of darkness are being destroyed now. In the name of Jesus, generational powers of darkness, those who are here and those who are online, I decree from today the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is breaking, is breaking every cycle. It's breaking every cycle. It's breaking every cycle. Cycle of disease. Cycle of divorce. Cycle of bad things, Jehovah. In the family, Jehovah. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Have your way now. Have your way now. I'm standing on your word. I am standing on your word. Your word says that you have been set free and no weapon set against us will be able to prosper. These are your people. They have wholeheartedly decided to break any life pattern. Lord, I want to thank you that even as I lay my hands on them, they will believe 
that cycle in their lives and in their families is broken now. And it doesn't matter what kind of a cycle. And it doesn't matter the challenges that they have gone through. You are on their hands. You are with them, Jehovah. The way you removed Jehovah. David from a pit. Full of mud and mire. May you remove them today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In a stronghold. The family stronghold that might have challenged you in your life. In the name of Jesus. It's being broken now. It's being broken now. It's being broken now. Just receive the word of God. Just receive the word of God. Believe God and his word. And his prophets. And you will be established. Father in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree now. I decree now. I decree now. Strongholds are being destroyed now. They are being broken now. It doesn't matter where they came from. The blood of the Lamb is setting them free now. Is setting them free now. In the name of Jesus. 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 From today, the blood of Jesus has set you free in every area of your life. And you are family. You are free and free for good. In the name of Jesus, deliverance has taken place to the glory of the Almighty God. Receive for the Lord has done it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, receive the Lord has done it in the work of the enemy. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. Be destroyed now. In the name of Jesus. Reka toro bobo se kaya bakota. Reka yandoro bobo se kere na mama. Reka yandoro bobo. Let's continue in prayer. Let us be in prayer in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There are powers of darkness that have been broken now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The Lord is touching you now. The Lord is touching you now. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is setting you free now. It's setting you free now. It's setting you free now. It's setting you free now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The word, the power of God. The power of God. Be delivered now. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, you have suffered for so long with the power and authority given unto me. The powers of darkness that has followed you, that has come against you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Thou spirit of the enemy, thou demonic forces, thou hast power of hell. In the name of Jesus. Oh, the fire of God, the fire of God, be set free now, be set free now, be set free now, be set free now, the blood of Jesus, anything that has troubled you in your life, come out, come out, I speak peace of God, from today, you are a different person, you have been delivered, you have been delivered. The anointing of God is upon your life. Deliverance is taking place now. It's taking place now. Blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. In the name 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 of Jesus. 
In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ora ketere na mama. Reka yando robobo. You have been set free. You have been set free. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Whatever that you have suffered from for many years, the Lord is delivering you. He is setting you above everything. And the Bible says, He who is in you is greater than He who is in the world. And I decree the blood of Jesus. You have been set free. Serve God faithfully. And you will be a family grounded and rooted in the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus has taken over. In the name of Jesus. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. In the name of Jesus. You have been set free now. You have been set free now. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Ashes, 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 where are you? You are delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. In the name of Jesus. Now, Spirit, you have troubled this lady. But as from today, the blood of Jesus has set you free. The blood of Jesus has set you free. In Jesus' name. Yes, Rekes ashes, ashes, you should always be ready in the name of Jesus. Reketara and deacons and the rest of Father. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you, Master, for your grace and mercy. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I decree God, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus has set you free right now. In Jesus' name, you have been set free. No, I see you are free now. The family is free. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus is setting you free now. It's setting you free now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, receive the power of God, receive the glory of God, receive the anointing of God, receive the favor of God. Jesus, be thou set free from any powers of the enemy. Lord Jehovah, bring deliverance in the name of Jesus. You have been set free. Your family is well. You are blessed forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The anointing of God. The glory of God. I plead the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. Just raise up your hands. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mungu anasema wewe umekuwa unataabika katika challenges nyingi lakini hizo nguvu ambazo zinakufuata katika familia Mungu ako na nguvu kuliko hizo nguvu zote na katika jina la Yesu Kristo na uwepo your wife ako wapi in the name of Jesus just come here just come here in the name of Jesus Father I want to thank just raise up your hands upon this family Lord I want to pray 
I speak deliverance over this family. I decree in Jesus' name no power of the enemy will challenge this family. I speak deliverance from any area of their life, Jehovah. I speak commitment. I speak wholeness. Any powers of darkness that has haunted them from right now to read right now thou spirit of the enemy be destroyed be destroyed from your roots in Jesus name from your roots in Jesus name may the blood of Jesus cover you in the name of Jesus Father I pray for all the families cover them Jehovah where the enemy had taken a foot for may you take over Jehovah may they be grounded and rooted in your word if there is one that has been going through sin the stronghold for all the sin you are set free now you are being set free now you are being set free now the blood is setting you free now the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus negative thoughts thinking that you are defeated negative thoughts thinking that you will never succeed negative thoughts I bring them down we take them captive under the blood of Jesus our God is where in the name of Jesus from today receive positive receive positive thoughts in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I pray for you alive in the name of Jesus be thou set free now the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus reketa ramama ketayara reketa ramama seba rekayandoro bobo sekayara babonda I decree your well. I decree your well. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The blood 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 of Jesus is setting you free. 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 The blood of Jesus is setting you free now. It's setting you free now. It's setting you free now. Reketara babo. Reketara mama. Rekayande raba. Rekayara babo. Rekayana mama se kebeka. Rekayando robobo se kebeka. Rekayando robobo. Receive. Receive. In the name of Jesus. I make declaration. It is where you are alive. It is where you are alive. In the name of Jesus. And with God all things are possible. In Jesus name. Just come here. Just come here to the back. Where is Pastor? Pastor, come here in the name of Jesus. Just raise up your hands. Come here, come here, Pastor Meshach. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for this couple. In the name of Jesus, if there is any stronghold in their lives, Jehovah, that might have Jehovah in, you know, intruded in their lives. From today, I am decreeing, Father, in the name of Jesus, they are starting a new life. They are starting a new chapter. In the name of Jesus, they will succeed in every area of their lives. Their children are blessed. They shall be mighty in the land. In the name of Jesus, I make declaration that the anointing of God is upon your servant. The anointing of God is upon this lady of God. This is Meshach Jehovah. Deliver her now from any area of the enemy. Father, I want to thank you. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has taken over. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I take captive every negative thought even those who are listening online you are being set free now you are being set free now your family is being set free your life is being set free in the name of Jesus in the demonic attack that you have experienced in your life you are being set free now in the name of Jesus just raise up your hand and say Jehovah set me free set me free Say, I am free. I am free. I am free. I am free. And free indeed. And I decree from now my life 
life will succeed, will succeed in every sphere, in every sphere of, my life. of my life. I'll succeed, I'll succeed spiritually. spiritually. I'll, succeed I'll succeed emotionally. emotionally. I'll, succeed I'll succeed physically. I'll succeed in every sphere of my life. In, of my life. in, the, name in the name of Jesus. I am more than a conqueror. I am a warrior. I am a warrior. I am a great warrior. I am a great warrior. A warrior of God. A warrior in the name of, of Jesus. Remove, remove any negative thoughts. Replace it with the positive thoughts. Hallelujah. Amen. There are some here. You have been thinking that you're not you're going to die. I decree from today you will live to decree the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. There are some of you who have been having a negative thought thinking that sickness will lead you to death. Today I decree you are healed. You are healed. You are healed forever in Jesus' name. And those who are here, and those who are online, I decree your children those strongholds in the name of Jesus. Your stronghold, your children will be mighty in the land. They will shine, and the people will ask, Hallelujah! Praise the name of the living God. You know when uh, David. He killed Goliath. Saul wanted to know. Now we are on one hand. Hallelujah. You are a child of God. You are a child of God. God bless you. May the Lord bless you. Those online, prepare to give uh, your offerings. Kindly join with us next Sunday at 10:30 as we continue with our service. Uh, you can you see uh, a number on the screen. Probably you are our ministry partner. May the Lord, the Lord bless you for being a blessing to our lives. And even this ministry. And even you are there, you want to give your offerings. You are tithes. You have fast fruits. Or whatever kind of tithe. I pray the Lord will bless it. As you stretch your hand to give, it is a time to receive. In Jesus' name. Bye and God bless you. See you next week. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen.